Okay, so hello and welcome to yes another gaming masters video now if you watch yesterday's video You'll you know exactly what this video is going to be talking about today We're going to be playing and talking about the division Yesterday we talked about why I returned them to the division and my current opinion on the state of the game and today we're going to be talking about the future of the division now the division is a MMO the MMO title based in apocalyptic New York after a virus spread on banknotes during Boxing Day and basically you're an agent going out to save New York from collapse. So this has been hyped up quite a lot since the E3 reveal back I believe in 2013 so it's, it was announced three years ago almost now and we have had quite a few delays for it there's quite a lot of content that people thought that would be in the game that has been cut or postponed to a free dlc at a later date today i'm going to be talking about possibly the future of the division as to will it be a game where it will ever it will continue to evolve and evolve and evolve like World of Warcraft, or if it will become a title similar to Destiny, where they release multiple DLCs over quite a few years and then release a second game, do the same thing at full cost, and then repeat it, repeat it, and repeat it, and repeat it until the franchise eventually dies. Personally, my opinion of The Division's future is fairly high. The developers seem to be concentrating on the player feedback, which is always positive. They have made numerous changes to the Dart Zone. They've fixed a few issues that have been with weapon balancing and things like that. So that's all been updated completely free for people. And we've also had new content added in update 1.1 and update 1.2 that launched the other day. So we've had quite a bit of support there is a year one plan that they unveiled just before release and they basically detailed that there will be update 1.1 update 1.2 and update 1.3 and i believe possibly even update 1.4 will be free however there will also be two or three dlcs in between the first DLC will be releasing in June, I believe, and then there is also some content, I believe, launching in September, and then I believe also possibly some content releasing in December or January that is paid DLC. Now, I'm going to be leaving the link down below in the description to all of the content that they have possibly suggested will be released and the titles of it, etc. I can't remember them off the top of my head. However, as regards to free content, I'm slightly worried as to what they're going to be doing. Now, until the patch that was released the other day, update 1.2, there was an exploit where you could get you out of the map. You could get out of the map and go into out of bounds areas and go fairly far into the areas that is currently supposedly unaccessible now you can walk around pretty much all of upper manhattan and areas of central park which looks at the time of looking around myself fairly incomplete however it's highly likely that that was just an old build when they decided to cut that bit of the content out of the full release back in March when they decided to cut that content out they just left the templated stuff there for them to work on in future releases so it's highly likely that that is what they did and with already one incursion which is extended to Columbus Circle I would be highly surprised if they don't add any of the rest of New York that is currently shown on the radar. 
Now, we pretty much have none of Lower Manhattan. However, the first DLC, Falcon Lost, did actually extend a little bit into a bit of Lower Manhattan. Now, if you have a look at the top of the map, where Clear Sky launched, it actually extended to a bit below Columbus Circle, I mean, a bit below Central Park, which is where Columbus Circle is, one of the very few roundabouts, supposedly, in the United States. So, when we, when me and one of my team members decided to use this exploit to get out of the map and have a look around, we noticed how built up these areas were. It wasn't just a kind of backdrop scenery kind of built up, it was actually built up with buildings placed down for quite a way down to go. You could go by probably 10 or 15 blocks worth of um, buildings which have been placed down. And you could also see the whole of Central Park and you could also see across towards the right hand side of the Hudson River. Now I'm not particularly good with my geography of New York. I'm not from America. However, I believe that it would be Brooklyn, no, nope, sorry, New Jersey, that was also fully built. Now, there is a bridge that runs across, and when we have a look at the content that they previously, well, the content that they had built, like, the bridge was partially built, and then it kind of like dropped halfway through but there was no ending to the bridge i believe that bridge was under construction you could look across the river and the buildings on the other side of the river were placed down there was scenery there were trees there were lights even on in these buildings and you can see this content from the current um part of the game that you're supposed to be able to access so, this isn't background scenery, this is content that will most likely be accessible during launch. Now, the left hand side of the map, uh, which is where I believe Brooklyn is located, was briefly accessible during the starting mission, and was also fairly well built up. Now, you did have very limited amount of content that you could access in that area and I might just be guessing confused with the size of New York however both sides did look to be fairly well built up you could look down with your sniper scope and zoom into the buildings and you can see lights and stuff like that Central Park area seems to be fairly well well built up as well now I'm not sure if there is an exploit in update 1.2 to get into that part of the map, it would definitely be interesting to see now with the Columbus Circle incursion released, if there is any changes regarding that part of the map. I will try and have a look around to see if there is an exploit to get into that part of the map. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are now asking, now that all of this information regarding quite a few built-up areas that aren't available in the game being... Uh, being built up, you can walk around in these areas, there were even intel boxes and um, dark zone areas that were covered in this, including Central Park, which looked like it was going to be a dark zone. Is this content completely cut from the game? Is it going to be a free update? Or is it going to be one of the paid DLCs? Now, I'm not trying to get anybody's hopes up, however, I highly suspect that this DLC will be free, or at least some part of it. The reason why I'm making that assumption is, when you have a look at the area of the map that is included in a kind of white box which templates the basic area, and you have a look at the map that was originally provided for the uh, game, which included most of New York, included all of the different Dark Zone areas, etc. 
you could see how much content they were planning to launch. And I suspect that all of the areas that are currently marked out in this white boxed area will be accessible for free. This would make sense because if you have a look at the location of the Clear Sky Incursion, it doesn't go anywhere towards the right hand side it doesn't extend anywhere above the dark zone area. This incursion is fairly compact, it doesn't go particularly far. It goes to the very, very edge of Central Park and it would make sense if they added DZ07 and DZ08 just above where the dark zone currently is. That would take you slightly into the um, Central Park area and then on the right hand side and left hand side possibly two or th three more districts will be added with possibly some more missions or possibly some new content or something like that similar to the incursions that have already been added into the game and then possibly have some content on the right hand side of the river now it might be the case that that side, of the, that side of the river that is accessible currently with the map boundary is actually where you were in Brooklyn. I'm not sure, as I previously mentioned, as to which side of the river is New York and, sorry, Brooklyn, and which side of the river is New Jersey. So this is just a basic kind of like concept that all of the areas that are currently included in this kind of like white circle will be included in the free updates over the period of the supporting of the game. And then the other areas, so Lower Manhattan, Upper Manhattan, and the left hand side of the river <coughs> will be covering all of the um, all of the kind of like paid DLCs. Now this would in some ways make sense because the bank opposite Camp Hudson um, is currently unaccessible and this would mean that that area could possibly be DLC or not included at all. There isn't any kind of like grid markings on the left hand side of the river therefore I assume that no content will be covered in that part of New York. However, if you have a look at Upper Manhattan, the right hand side of the river as I refer it to, and lower part of Manhattan, you'll notice that there are actually buildings etched out and blocks etched out into the map. You just can't access them. So this would make a lot of sense that this is the content that will be featured in the game at some point. I suspect again. that the areas that are boxed in um, currently that you can like navigate around with the menu icons and stuff like that will be free updates to the game and all of the content that is currently etched out that you can't hover over will be featured during paid DLCs. So possibly one will focus on Lower Manhattan, one will focus on Upper Manhattan, and one will focus on the right hand side of the river. This would fit in partially with the current plans of DLC, and I suspect that the Upper Manhattan section will be accessible first. The reason behind this is because it was so well built up and so well detailed that it looks like they were making quite a substantial amount of progress with this part of the game. So, it's highly likely that we will be seeing all of this content coming to the game. Um, in terms of year-on-year -year support, I'm not sure what they'll do. I hope that they don't go for a year one, a year, well, I hope that they go on a year one, year two, year three basis. You're just currently constantly expanding this game with loads and loads and loads of content. However, I do understand that it's highly unlikely that that will happen, especially with the um, limited amount of stuff that they can feature because it's New York. It's not 
like the, not like Destiny, where you can have multiple universes, uh, planets, sorry, included. With um, the division, it will only focus on New York. So there is somewhat limitations as to what they could do with that. However, with the current year one plans, as they have called it, I suspect that it will be a year one and a year two based program. So content in year one and year two. There will be a mixture of free and paid DLC in both years. And I also suspect that there will be a possibly a second, possibly a third game with a similar process and similar understanding. However, there will be a different background because the virus is spreading across the whole of New York. They haven't stopped the virus, so it could possibly transfer over to other parts of the world. It could possibly go to London, for example, and this is a way that they could build upon the franchise. They don't end up stopping the virus for a while and it kind of like continues and continues and continues and continues and they can then make loads of different games with loads of different locations, loads of different storylines and stories behind it, which would definitely be interesting. However, there is a limitation as to the number of games and amount of content that they could put into this because the storyline is in some ways limited. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video is a bit of a ramble, it's a bit unclear and in some cases repetitive. However, these are my honest opinions that this is what I think the future of The Division is. I think it's going to be fairly positive. The support that the, the developers have been given, giving and their current situation seems to be fairly positive with the way that they're, the direction that they're going with improvements and things like that. So these are my opinions of where we can see the division in a year, possibly two or even three years time. Now all of this is rumour and speculation. Please do not use this as a primary source as Hey, this has been confirmed. None of this has been confirmed. This is just purely speculation as to what I think will be happening. Bearing in mind, I have managed to get out of the map and explore these areas which seem to be fairly well built and populated with AI walking around and things like that. This is, that is the only reason why I have been making this video there is no other reason why, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to stay tuned on the channel for all of the latest Division content. I've, re I've really been enjoying this game recently and can't wait to see what the future holds for this franchise. Don't forget to like, follow, and of course, as always, subscribe. It's very much appreciated, and we shall see you in the next video.